Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of Industries with Big Stone. It is with deep regrets, ladies and gentlemen, I have to announce the passing of a very good friend of mine from the United States of America that I met a couple of years ago. His name is Lawrence Leathers. He's also a Grammy winning jazz drummer and he was a victim of suspected murder recently. A wave of shock and sadness moved through the jazz community on Sunday with the news of the death of Lawrence Low Leathers, a drummer with a steadfast presence in the modern jazz mainstream. Leathers was 37 years old. He was killed on Sunday in the hallway of an apartment building on East 141st Street in the Bronx, neighborhood of Mott Avon, according to Detective Martin Brown of the NYPD. The police have arrested a suspect in connection to the incident. According to the police sources, Leathers was involved in a dispute with his girlfriend when he was assaulted by another individual who put him in a chokehold. He lost consciousness and was later pronounced dead. We here at Humanity Divine Libertarian Foundation misses this young man wholeheartedly. I had the opportunity of speaking with Lawrence Leather. He was such a wonderful, warm, quiet character, very soft-spoken, but very intelligent and very articulate. We're going to miss him dearly. My friend David William, who's president and founder of the Humanity Divine Libertarian Foundation, also send his condolences to his family. Lawrence, wherever you are, my lord, may your soul find eternal peace, man. And remember that you always be in our hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, here's part of that interview I gave him approximately two years ago, right on my veranda in Kingston, Jamaica. Please watch a soft-spoken, easygoing, quiet, powerful young man speaks and articulates about his love for music. Welcome once again to In the Streets with Big Stone. Today is an extremely special day because we have greatness in our company. We have the likes of master drummer Lawrence Letters, or Low, as he's affectionately called in the jazz fraternity in the United States. And of course, we have the beautiful Lisa Harris, who is the daughter of the president and founder of Humanity Divine Libertarians Foundation. Welcome once again to In The Streets. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure having you, my brother. How is great, everything? Great to be here. It's great. <laughs> And we also have to the far right, we're going to bring it in now, just get a little bit piece of him, what he did in his early year to become the ace master drummer that he has grown up to be. Hmm. Lawrence, once again, my brother, I have to give you a double handshake because I'm a musician and I know that it takes a lot of hard work and dedication and discipline in, in, in owning your skill. So take us back a little bit before we get into the yoga because we want to fuse music yoga and humanity divine libertarians foundation how best we can incorporate all three uh our, all two aspects of, of 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 the arts to make this foundation more plausible more more, more appealing to younger youth you know who's on the street here but we want to be a part of it because ace master drummer uh lawrence let us play drum but he's into yoga and vice versa lawrence you know you understand what i'm saying and and, and Bring it nicely and tightly. So, see, off the floor is yours. A little bit about yourself, how you got started, who you are, uh, blah, blah, blah. Me, you know, musician, drummer, that's what I play mostly. But mm -hmm. uh, travel the world now. Mm -hmm. Doing good. As a youth myself, I was a troubled, troubled youth, troubled teen, you know, dealing with family issues. Mm -hmm. You know, had to, you know, temper issues, getting into trouble, mm -hmm. this and the third. So, I got put in the programs, you know, uh, at risk for at risk youth, so mm -hmm. mentoring programs. Part of the program, one of the programs that helped me out was band. So okay, so was it your choice to to choose the band, or it was chosen for you? It was my choice. Okay, so you choice. had the love of music then fused into you. I did, I did. Okay, it's like from 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 day one. From day one, from day one, okay. mom always had music, you know, playing in the house. Uh -huh. 
be a car parties, whatever it is. So, so what you're playing on the pots and the kettles and everything. cups and everything. And you break a few things in the process. I try, I try not to. <laughs> I, I didn't want to get broke. Okay, okay. You have to pay for these things right, to replace right, right, them. Right, right, right. So the earlier days, then you got connected, um, and because of you know your childhood, you know we can say it was troubled, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. And music was your it's an outlet. An outlet. So where has music taken you now? What has it done for you? Music has done I mean, everything for me. It's the reason why I'm alive. Okay, the truth. great. I mean now. Travel the world mm -hmm. all the time. Maybe some of the places that you've been to. Uh, Jamaica, for one. Okay. <laughs> you know, Finland, Italy, yeah. you know, a lot of European countries, Japan, mm -hmm. Australia, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Mexico, Germany, France, mm -hmm. uh, you know, South America. Wow. You know, all over mm -hmm. Brazil. Mm -hmm. So. So what's the difference, say? Because I know jazz, they, I remember the days back in the music when I used to play in the police band, right? And my instrument was trumpet. Mm -hmm. uh, they say jazz was a kind of mix-up because of the phrases and all you. It's a mix-up, confused music. Huh. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, remember, take five. Uh, you take five, the time, the time was five, four, or five, two. You remember that? Indeed, indeed. Right, so this is it's a confused music because you have to have good ears and, 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 and so who are some of the people that, that, that you admire to, to bring you to where you are today? A bunch. I mean, jazz greats, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Elvin Jones, Philly Joe Jones, Art mm -hmm. Blakey, Grady Art Blakey, Tate. master drummer. Uh, yeah. Master, master, master drummer. Yeah. Um, you know, these guys that did it laid the foundation down for us mm -hmm. and actually made it, they are who made it real because they were living the music. You know, mm -hmm. it's the only way they could make money without Robin and Stillen, basically back in those days wow. in America, you know, so this how music came about in, you know, impoverished areas mm -hmm. of living, mm -hmm. you know, got black communities coming together, mm -hmm. playing music, you know, stems from, you know, slave, slave chants, you know, uh, to conversate with this, it's a good way to, you know, when they mm -hmm. got to get together and sing songs or whatever. Wow. So it's all tied in, and, you know, you, you have the feeling and the heart of the streets, the livelihoods and what, you know, people are going through. And I guess also, Lawrence, uh, it's one of those um, avenues that we created, because music, you have to say um, African-Americans and black people worldwide, we, we own music. Mm -hmm. Anytime we do anything musical, Indeed. it comes out great, you know what I mean? So it, 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 it wasn't hard for you to get your foot in the door as a musician, because this is one of the professions in life that is open up to us that they can't take from us. Right. It's our musical skills and our musical ability. Um, well, speaking with Sister Lisa right here, right, and you're a drummer, uh, a jazz musician, how best can we now incorporate music with yoga, with my motivational skills, mm -hmm. and how can we address the high crime rate that is happening, not just in Jamaica, but all over the world? I mean, basically it comes down to, as she said, it's a stress relief for yoga anyway. It's mm -hmm. the same thing for me with music. The music. That's my therapy. Whenever I hit that bandstand, mm -hmm. everything is blank. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, in that I'm, world, no, you're in, into in it. That, in that world that I'm into. So it's my focus, mm -hmm. which is what gets people into situations nine times out of ten is lack of focus. Mm -hmm. Right. So if, if they don't have focus on the right things, then they're going to wander off, wander off. And then that's when trouble happens. Yeah. So for me, the music yoga it ties in perfectly i mean you know with jazz mm -hmm. a lot of yoga classes they play music to go yeah. and to get into different vibes you know lisa she can talk about that a lot more than okay I can. so then with music because mm -hmm. sometimes you do your yoga um stretching and so on to music right yeah. you lawrence now in 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 coming on board with this great foundation called humanity divine libertarians what have you decided to bring to the table apart from your expertise as a master drummer, master musician. What else are you bringing? Definitely bringing experience, life experience, mm -hmm. a voice outside of ones that, you know, kids hear all the time telling them what's right or wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, I can just give advice or suggestions and say, right. I've experienced this and I've tried it a few different ways mm -hmm. and gotten the same result. So yeah. I've also gotten a different result and this can happen. So with music, it's the same thing. If I don't practice or if I work on the same thing, if I'm working on the groove, uh -huh. I'm trying to get a certain little feel down, uh -huh. and if I 
I'll just keep going at it the same way. It's never gonna happen. But as soon as I take the time and you know listen or watch somebody else do it, mm-hmm. and, and remember that it's supposed to be a joyful thing, it's not something that's supposed to you know bash my head up against the wall with. Mm-hmm. Then the light clicks on, bam. So for me, when I teach, when I teach the youth, I always bring in a couple different key elements. First, the fun. Beautiful. It's not, it's not homework. You know, mm-hmm. it's something that they should enjoy. Exactly. Second of all, goals. Mm-hmm. Give them something to work towards, and then also reward with those goals. Because mm-hmm. anytime you put in work, you want to get something out of it. Mm-hmm. You know? So, and also being just a role model, positive role model. That's the most important thing to me. Mm-hmm. So, if you fuse all of those things together, for me, I bring in, you know, sometimes I get kids, you know, in Detroit or in Philly, mm-hmm. or actually mm-hmm. some kids over in Paris that I worked with that come from, you know, some rough upbringing. Mm-hmm. And so, me knowing a bunch of different types of people in mm-hmm. different realms, you know, walks of life, mm-hmm. I can say I can bring in somebody that, you know, is close friends with me. Tied in with music, mm-hmm. and you know, but still walked or walks a little closer to that side of life that they're dealing with, and bring them in, and so they can see somebody else might look up to, which you know, say, okay, I know you used to be out um, here, so and so, yeah, yeah. You know, so and this is what you're doing. This is what right, you like, right? Um, ladies and gentlemen, here we are speaking with um, Lawrence Leathers, Low, as he's affectionately called in the jazz um, music fraternity all over the world, and of course, Lisa Harris, um, master yoga specialist, um, who have been working for years, many years, with children, troubled youths, uh, and just common, ordinary children, you know? Um, it's great to see their concern, and uh, the fact that they want to really come on board with this uh, massive foundation, the Humanity Divine Libertarians Foundation. Um, funding is a problem, um, you know, um, in dealing with all these different aspects of, of youths. Yeah. We can't just make them empty promises. We have to, if a youth probably cannot afford uh, food for that particular day, I know you're gonna be nice enough to come out of your pocket, probably able to give it some food and right. so on and so forth. So this is a part of the interview that I would love to appeal to you out there watching this, knowing the works that he's doing, right? Uh, my brother, um, Lawrence Leathers, of course, Lisa Harris, the work that they're doing. would love for you to play your part, or your tiny part, and pledge your support to the Humanity Divine Libertarian Foundation. It's a great foundation. It is aimed at making the world uh, a, a better place. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, speaking with the Ace Master drummer, Lawrence Leathers, a.k.a. Low. If you want to get in touch with the foundation, it's at uh, Humanity Divine Libertarians at gmail.com there's a paypal account that is associated with that um, you can send your funding through that and of course the website will be up very soon our facebook page again is humanity divine libertarian we're on facebook send us a picture send us a message and we'll get back to you immediately of course we want to big up the president and founder david williams um, a person who was a troubled kid at times growing up and also utilizing the foundation in a positive way <coughs> thinking of the foundation in a positive way to uplift as much youth as we possibly can through gangsterism terrorism you name it scattered right across the four corners of the earth that's where we want to reach out so thank you very much for watching and remember humanity the man libertarian is the way to go Big up. thank you very much thank you thank you thank you all for watching and i do hope you can have a great day.